You want to have beautiful footwork that can get you in position for that perfect smash to help you recover from that beautiful dive defense? Well today I'm going to teach you the 5 essential skills to instantly have faster badminton footwork. First drill will be increasing our footwork speed by increasing the distance which we move on our footwork. Now the most important thing for many beginners is that they don't make lunges big enough. So for most beginners they might just take one small step in their lunge. But when we're doing fast footwork, we want to make sure our feet is covering as much court as possible. In order to do this drill, we want to start here at the doubles line in the back court. And we're going to be running to the front court in only two steps and one lunge. So if you're right-handed, you're going to start with your right foot on a one, two. And then our last step is going to be lunging as far as possible to come up for the neck kill on touching the net. Now, when you're practicing this drill, you want to make sure you're really sprinting forward fast so that you have enough momentum to lunge forward on this lunge to be able to reach the net from the back court. And it's gonna look something like this. So when you're doing this drill, you really wanna focus on building momentum on each step and pushing hard. And when you're lunging, make sure you are lunging on your heel first so that you don't accidentally roll your ankle if you land on your toes. And you want to be using your glutes to sustain that energy coming forward. Our second exercise is gonna teach us how to push off faster. And this is very vital for faster footwork because one of the slowest things that happen in footwork is turning our direction in the correct direction for movement. In order to do this exercise, we wanna first be starting off with doing fast feet, striking the ground as fast as possible. And after a few, you want to push off as hard as possible in the direction you wanna go. And it's gonna look something like this. When you're doing this drill, really focus on striking the ground with your feet. You're going to feel like you're punching it both your feet. Maybe that's just a kick. And you want to be making sure to stay on the balls of your feet and using your whole ankle strike to keep very quick and agile. Our third drill is more of a gameplay strategy drill and that's predicting the right direction to go for footwork. Especially if you want to be able to get into position and attack you have to be there beforehand. Now, in order to practice this drill, we'll give you a few examples of footwork that has prediction. So, starting off with our high serve, once we hit our high serve, we go into our neutral position. If we think our opponent is going to be dropping to our backhand side, we say maybe a 70% chance, we can start positioning our footwork to head in the backhand direction so that when they hit over here, we can get it very high for attacking shot. In the case that they do not hit it here, it's okay because we can still recover in a more defensive position for other shots. Another example of predicting is once we hit this backhand shot, if they come up very quickly and we think they'll be hitting a cross-court push, we can start positioning our foot backwards to head in this direction. In the scenario that they do hit the cross push, we can be in position to smash. Again, if they don't hit what we are predicting, then we can still recover. It's very much like a game of chess and probabilities. We want to prepare ourselves for where we think the highest probability of them hitting the shot is. Fourth drill is another gameplay drill and that's going to be not moving back to the center position so that we can recover faster. As I said before, the slowest thing in badminton is turning the right direction in the footwork. So for example, if I start to move back here and I rush back to the center, then that means I will have to cover all four corners of the court, turning four directions. But if I come here and hit, coming only one step back and not all the way to the center, then I only have to cover three corners of the court. When you're doing this, you really want to focus on coming back, recovering very slow and steady, and pushing off fast. Because we're not moving all the way to the center, we want to make sure we push off fast enough to cover the rest of the court. But especially as you get to higher levels, this will be more worthwhile because turning directions is much slower than moving further distances. For our last row, we want to be learning how to have a steady stance in our footwork so that we can recover quickly. Now, for this drill, we're going to be coming to this line on the side and be making a lunge as far as possible moving forward. So coming forward, but after this lunge, we want to be able to hold this position for three seconds. So the lunge is going to be a lot bigger. It's going to look something like this, as big as you can, and then hold it for one, two, three. This is going to be very important in all of your footwork coming back. For example, moving forward, boom. This is steady, so your shot is steady, and you can recover quick. Same for the sides. Steady, so you can recover quick. If you are not steady, 
then your momentum will be pushing you forward very unstably so that you will not have the proper momentum to coming back to the center of the court. These are the five essential drills to instantly increase your badminton footwork speed. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram to vote on what tutorials to see next.